the library and the Texas flag have in common? Well, today we'll find out as we walk through Texas history. I hope you join me on our journey. Montgomery County, Texas, and the city of Montgomery at the Charles B. Stewart Library. And what do they have in common? Well, Charles B. Stewart is credited with being the originator of the Texas flag. His home was here in Montgomery County, here in the city of Montgomery, not too far from here. Let's go over to a park nearby that has a very nice statue commemorating him. We are here in Montgomery now on Highway 105 at Cedar Break Park. This is a statue of Charles B. Stewart. Dr. Stewart came to Texas in about 1830. He was born in South Carolina and he was a pharmacist by trade. Dr. Stewart was also a signer of the Texas Declaration of Independence. He actually did serve in 1832 at the Battle of Velasco. He moved here in Montgomery in 1837 and was Secretary of State for the state of Texas. During that time is when he actually designed the state flag that we see today. The one that's right behind him. Let's head on over now to the cemetery, which is not far, and his final resting place. Here's a cemetery marker for New Cemetery. And like I said, Dr. Charles B. Stewart is buried here. We're right here at the gates right now. Let's head over to his grave. We are now at the final resting place of Dr. Charles B. Stewart. Like I said, he was a Texas veteran in the uh, Republic of Texas. He also was the originator and creator of the Texas flag as we know it today. He's buried here in Montgomery and uh, not too far from a street named after him, Stewart Street. And as fitting, there is actually a Texas flag here at the uh, family cemetery plot. Dr. Stewart actually lived a pretty long life. Uh, born in 1806, died in 1885, almost 80 years old. Like I say, he was born in South Carolina, came here to Texas in 1830 and lived most of his life, his adult life that is, here in Montgomery. He's pretty revered in these parts and uh, most people don't know about him, about his significant contributions to the state of Texas. Not only being a political contribution, but of his contribution to the flag itself. We're here now at the Texas Centennial Marker for the home of Charles B. Stewart. It's here at the corner, roughly at the corner of FM 2854 and State Highway 105 in Montgomery County, at the edge of the town of Montgomery. There actually is a flagpole here, but there's no flag on it. Now let's head on over to Conroe and go to the last stop of the day, which is the flag park dedicated in his honor. We are now here in Conroe, Texas at the Flag Park dedicated to Dr. Charles Stewart. As you can see there's a lot of flags up here. Of course we have the six flags over Texas and there's several more as well. We'll go over all those as we walk through. Let's look at the statue of the bus that they've made of him. Here's the front. Tells you about his 
life and let's go look at the sides there's a couple of different plaques on each side gives you a little bit of batting as we talked about before Conroe is the county seat of Montgomery County so that is the reason why the flag park is here There's a sculptor's name. It was uh, made in 2010. And the people that were to help volunteer to get this created. And like it says, he was the very first Secretary of State of Texas. One more time to the side here. Let's go look at the flag part. Here in the middle is this statue called the Texian. Of course, he's holding the Texas flag. And there's a plaque right in front. We'll make our way around from the very first flag to our left, all the way around. And it's got a plaque on each one. We'll make our way through those pretty quickly. And of course we ended the Lone Star flag. Here's the first plaque. Here's the Kohila y Tejas flag, 1821-1836. There it is. We'll head over to the next flag. This is the 1824 tricolor flag of the Alamo, 1835-1836. And there it is today. Here's a flag of the Texas Navy, 1835 to 1845. There it is. I like this flag, the Alabama Red Rovers. 1835-1836, simple red flag. The New Orleans Grays, they volunteered obviously in New Orleans. And here's the flag. Let's see if that wind will kick back up just a hair for us. There we go. The Gonzales Come and Take It flag. Pretty famous here in Texas. Good shot of it. This is the Sarah Dobson tricolor flag, 1835. Pretty close to what we have now, obviously. Same basic idea. Here's the Troutman Lone Star flag. Let's see if we can get one good shot of it here before. Hard to see. Is liberty or death with the star in the middle. Here's the Goliad flag, the severed arm and bloody sword of 1836. It's pretty famous as well. Wind has stopped on us for a little bit here, it looks like. The San Jacinto Liberty flag, 1836.
Get a pretty decent shot there. There we go. Wind's starting to be our friend again. The days of Olive Flag, the first flag of the Republic of Texas, 1836. So the blue flag, white star in the middle, says Texas around the star. Here's the Burnett flag of 1836 to 39. That is the second flag of the Republic. Let's see, blue flag with a yellow star right in the middle. And then last but not least, the Lone Star flag, 1839. Of course, you know this one. This is our flag of today and the Lone Star flag. Here it is. And of course, the sun's right behind it. Still a great view. Well, that ended our tour today. Thanks for joining me on another walk through Texas history. We end here at the Flag Park in Conroe, Texas, just off of Highway 45, Interstate 45, at the Montgomery County Library. Hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like and subscribe and catch me on Facebook. Until next time, have a good one.